Welcome back everyone to ChatGPT plays Baldur's Gate 3. In the last video, we followed Tommy Cutlets fight his way through a mind flare ship and pair himself with a Gith Yankee with a short temper and an elf with clearly some secrets that she was hiding. After barely making his way to the console, Tommy forcefully stopped our gameplay. In this video, we follow Tommy as he tries to find allies, new and old, and cure this mind flare infection. Are you ready, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough yapping. Let's get down to business. Ah! My freaking head. Wait, where the hell am I? Oh, yeah, I remember the freaky place. And I remember that tadpole as well. Tommy, you have made it off the ship. The ship comes crashing down into a place. You're not quite sure what it is. You're on a beach. You landed quite ominously, if I might add. Right before you're about to hit the ground, once you're falling from the ship, something stops you. Like someone grabbed you, slowly let you touch the ground. All right, let's not get ourselves in a tizzy here. First things first, let's check myself for injuries. Not that I expect any, of course. <laughs> Tommy Cutlets ain't easy to break, you know. Wherever I am, these poor bastards ain't ready for the cutlet storm, I tell you. Other than the affection, you're more or less intact. But that won't be the same if you don't find help soon. In the distance, you see what seems to be Shadowheart, one of your allies from the ship, passed out on the ground. Go over there and talk to her. Or you can loot this dead body in front of you and continue on your way. We ain't gonna survive this thing on our own. Let's check on Shadowheart over there. I'm partial to the company of familiar faces, even the ones that ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Let's go wake her up. Come on, Shadowheart. Ain't no time to nap. All right, you have the option to wake her up or reach for her artifact that you see in her hand. The one that you found or take from that pod earlier. You're not quite sure what it is. All right, this ain't no time to get all sneaky. Let's wake her up. No point grabbing the shiny thing if she ain't conscious to tell me what it does, right? Besides, Another brain dealing mm. with this shit can only help. You're so, alive. Shadow, what's her face? I'm Rise alive. and shine. We got some real Jersey Shore mess to clean How up is over this here. Possible? Shadow Horror wakes up, all surprised that you guys are both alive. She asks you, How is this possible? Doesn't matter. We made it. Let's go with that. We ain't got time for belly aching. We got some weird tadpole things in our heads and a big mess to deal with. Ain't no time for 20 questions. The important thing is, we're alive and we've got each other's backs. Straight out of Jersey. Wait. Charging off by yourself. We need each other. Glad to have you on board, Shadowheart, or whatever your name is. Now, we got bigger fish to fry than catching some sun on this beach, so let's get off this shit shore and find ourselves a village or something. Okay. Maybe there's someone there who knows how to get this alien crap out of our head. Yeah. After getting Shadowheart back into our party, I decided to open up Tommy's code and add all the abilities and moves that he had up to this point to his memory. Mostly out of curiosity, if it would make him act more independent during battle. It actually worked out pretty good. Besides the weird side effect of him turning British for a moment. Yeah. What the hell? Nothing to dip in? Ayo, oh, this is going great. Really great. All right, sure. No dip, no prepare. Why is he? Guess I'll just fucking shove the air or something, huh? Practicing my moves. Reminds mm -hmm. me of my days playing with the boys in Jersey doing drills. After the small brain battle that happens after meeting up with Shadowheart, and after dealing with British Tommy, I looted the area per Tommy's request and came across some pretty nice loot that I wanted to let Tommy know about. Mostly because I came across a pretty cool hat that he could put on. Well, ain't this some shit? Look at all these fancy tools of destruction we got here. All right, here's what we'll do. We stash the potion of speed and oil of demolition for a rainy day. The bottles, well, I always found a good bottle throw to be pretty satisfying. As for the hat, as cool as it might be, I can't hide this dome of mine. It's my signature look. Ain't no hat gonna upstage the cutlets, baby. Now, enough chit-chat. Let's move on from this damn beach. Yeah, you're right, Tommy. That was a stupid idea. After my idea was shot down by Tommy, he made his way in the direction of the pale white elf called Astarian, where they meet for the first time. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things caught. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? All right, Tommy. You just encountered this very pale looking guy with curly hair. 
He says that he trapped one of the brain looking things in a corner and he's trying to tell you to go kill it. Just like you killed the other things. Yeah, Curly's too scared to finish off his own brain bug, is he? Well, fine. If he's gonna pester me, might as well get it done. Can't be much worse than the hair situations you see down the shore on a summer weekend. All right, Curly, step aside. Let Tommy Cutlet show you how it's done. Time to squish some brains, Jersey style. Let's go kill it ourselves and fast. Just remember, this is how the pros do it. Stand back and watch. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. Oh shit, Tommy! This guy tricked you! As soon as you turned your back on him, he grabbed you, pulled you to the ground, and is holding a knife against your throat. Oh, this fucker just made a big mistake. Nobody gets the drop on Tommy Cutlets. We're going with option three. Melee attack the shit out of this <laughs> punk. You think you're in control here, huh? You obviously don't know who you're messing with. Back in Jersey, we have a word for types like you. Dead me. Gonna headbutt this fool right off of me. Time to fight back. Let's go, Tommy! <laughs> Your mind twists. What was that? What's going on? Success, Tommy! You headbutt and he reels back in pain and you guys both come to your feet. As you do, your minds connect to each other. Like the tadpoles are communicating once more. Asterian says, what was that? What's going on? All right, no more messing around. Time to tell this sudden acrobat what's what. <laughs> this sudden I'll acrobat. Put that knife away and I'll tell you everything. To think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> no apologies. This guy's got some nerve, let me tell you. Apologies for almost carving me up like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> nah, that's not cut. <laughs> you better have more to offer than apologies. We're in some deep shit here, and I ain't got time for touch feely forgiveness crap. I'm Tommy Cutler. <laughs> he doesn't take shit from nobody! Unlucky Tommy. Asterian says, I don't have anything. I hope an introduction would suffice. Oh, by the way, Shadowheart didn't like your tough guy nonsense, so she was kind of upset by your decision. Oh, Shadowheart didn't like my vibe? Well, she can take a long walk off a short pier. She ain't the boss of me. All right, let's not unload the whole sob story on pointy ears here. Just hit him with the basics. Option two, tell them the name and the rough outline. Yeah, I'm Tommy, Tommy Cutlets. I'm not from any Baldur's Gate. I'm all the way from Jersey. So we add a star into our team and immediately level up afterwards to level two. <laughs> afterwards, we move towards a crashed mind flare ship and come across a dying mind flare, where Tommy immediately decides to stop its head in. We then come across the location that we meet a potential team member named Gale, that I'm sure Tommy would love to meet and have on the team. Oh, what the fuck? More of these goofy ring things acting up? I ain't in the mood for a haywire magic circle. Screw it, let's keep moving. I ain't got time for strange magic ring malfunctions. Okay, never mind, I guess not. We then moved on down the path towards the area where you meet up with Lizelle, where she is in the cage and you decide what to do. I had Tommy handle the situation. Oh shit, Tommy. As you're walking, you come across Lizelle, your ally from the ship. These two tieflings have trapped her in a cage? She's communicating with you through the parasite, telling you, asking you to get rid of them. Well, ain't this just a typical day? Okay, I ain't one to abandon an ally, even if she's as irritating as Lazelle here. All right, let's go with option four. Shoot the trap down. I'll tear it apart before anyone else gets hurt. Sounds just about crazy enough to work, don't it? We're getting Lazelle out of this cage, and if those demon guys get in our way, well, that's their problem. Now let's get to work. He's right. Time to play hero, no Jersey one's style. Safe if that thing Tommy Cutlets to the rescue. Not even us. Damaze. Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. All right. You've but one chance. Join me or die. I don't think uh, Tommy Cutlets is gonna like that option. All right, Tommy. 
You free Lady's Elf. And then as soon as she hits the ground, she says to you, you've but one chance. Join me or die. Well, ain't she just a bundle of joy? Join you or die, eh? Afraid I ain't a fan of ultimatums, Liz. Especially not from someone I just mm -hmm. rescued. So let's go with option two. Attack Lizelle. Let's show her how we do things in Jersey when folks get all high and mighty. I don't care who you are. Nobody threatens Tommy Cutlets. It's go time, Liz. I hope you brought your A game. Let's rumble. <laughs> Shit, I knew it! You can't tell fucking someone from Jersey what to do. They're just gonna attack you. Okay. So annoying. Congratulations, Tommy Cutlets. You just killed your old friend Lazel because she was talking shit to you. <laughs> well, it ain't the best feeling, isn't it? But no one threatens Tommy Cutlets and lives <laughs> to tell about it, even if she was an ally once. With Lazelle brutally murdered, Tommy decided to loot her as well. Because why not? Murder was not enough. I then took a quick pepper break, then proceeded towards Emerald Grove to continue the story. That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gates, Sevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? All right, Tommy, you're in a big battle. There are eight enemies. They are mostly goblins. And then there is one creature called a warg, which is like a big wolf-like creature. There are two archers that you're close enough to reach and then attack. What would you like to do? Holy shit, eight against one. Feels just like the time I had to face a bar full of pissed off Jets fans back in Jersey. All right, let's use that reckless attack ability I just unlocked. Let's go for those archers first. Take out the long range threats, then gear up to face the big bad wolf. <laughs> Show these chuckleheads why they call me Tommy Cutlass. Blood follows me everywhere. Let's use my bonus action to prepare that shove. If any of those ugly motherfuckers think of getting <laughs> close to Tommy Cutlass, they've got another thing coming. Let them come. We're ready. For <laughs> Let them go. begin, Jersey style. Let's go with another reckless attack. We're in it now. No point in holding back. Let's show these <laughs> goblins what we're made of. For my bonus action, you bet your ass we're keeping this that shove way. ready. It is your turn. You are extremely low on health. You have one health remaining and you are poisoned. All right, let's use that potion of speed I've got stashed. I ain't looking to go down just yet. Let's focus Can't on the biggest down. threats first. We go after that warg and bugbear combo. All right, let's keep it simple. We'll go with the good old fashioned melee attack. It's straight to the point, literally, right? That's right, take that, you oversized furball. All right, let's stick with what works. We still got some fight left in us. Let's hit this bugbear with another melee attack. Once you're making that melee attack, it says you missed. You can use your reckless attack to be able to try again and hit the enemy. Would you like to use it or do you hold off? Tommy Cutlets ain't got time for half measures. Let's use that reckless attack. Time to go all in. Like last minute goals at a Jersey football game, we're bringing the heat. Oh, they healed him. After that battle, we head on inside and immediately come across the people arguing. You fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! As you're entering this encampment, Tommy, these two people are fighting with each other. One of them, that was the people that were running away from the goblins that are trying to get inside the camp are getting yelled at by the commander that seems to be protecting the camp? Fight just ended and now you're picking another? Relax. Ain't nobody got time for petty arguments when there's goblin hordes and brain bugs to worry about. My duty is to this cow. Oh, mind him. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Uh oh, Tommy. You said that, and the human and the tiefling are still fighting. The human is being incredibly racist towards him. The tiefling looks like he's about to erupt of ang out of anger because of the comments that he made. Yeah, enough of this crap. Time to step in and sort this mess out, Jersey style. Let's go with option one. Use that barbarian intimidation. Stop or I'll bash your skulls together myself. Might as well put that barbarian strength to good use. 
Let's remind these gits that we got bigger problems than petty squabbles and racist sluts. If they want to fight, they can Enough. take it up with Tommy Squabbling Cutlass. Pointless. Let's see them try. The Time to be peacemakers, whether us. they like it or not. Yeah. Let's knock we some agree sense into these idiots. And after that, we went down towards the shop and had Tommy decide what he wanted to purchase. Well, well, 433 gold, huh? That's a nice little pile. All right, first things first. Let's stock up on some more healing potions. Never hurts to be prepared. Then let's grab that ring of flinging. Sounds like it'd be fun at parties. As for the gloves, let's hold off on those. Tommy Cutlass ain't one to hide behind gloves. Other than that, I guess we look for any other knickknacks that catch our eye. Finally, we come across another potential ally named Will. And that conversation went like this. Just as that conversation between him and the child ends, you start talking to him. Just as he goes to introduce himself, your minds connect like they did before with the parasite. He asks you, you were on that ship? Ah, uh, this brain connection crap again. Feels weirder than one too many shots at the Jersey Shore. All right, let's go with option two. Just as you say that to him, your minds collide once more and you see this diabolical figure, a war devil. Yikes, that's one ugly brain buddy he's got. Let's keep it simple. Option one. He claims that she is a war devil that he was about to end and then the Mind Flayer ship came and took her. War devil, huh? Sounds like a Jersey Shore bar on a Saturday night. All right, let's go with option two. I'm looking for a cure to this infection. I suggest we partner up. Two birds, one stone, right? Doesn't hurt to team up. And with Will now in the party, that brings our party total to four people. Will, Shadowheart, Astarian, and the man himself, Tommy Cutlets. At the beginning of the new play session, I brought up Tommy's code to update it. I added his rage mechanic to his memory, so he was more likely to use it in battle. And I also added some extra stuff in there due to chat's request. Like ending what he says with fuck off, I got work to do, or talking shit about someone named Strider. Not sure what he did, but apparently Tommy hated his guts. After all this, I reminded him of where he was and what he needed to do, and we set off. Fuck it, let's go find this healer. I better not die, or I swear to God I'll haunt Strider's basement dwelling ass all the way over in Metuchen. Calm down. Fuck off. I got work to do. With that being said, we started to search the camp for any signs of a healer. However, we came upon the goblin, Saza, who was locked in a cage, and we needed to take care of this issue first. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arka. You're better than this. Okay, Tommy. You walk into what seems like uh, a cave with a jail cell in it. And inside this jail cell is a tiny green creature that looks like a goblin. Outside the cage, there are these two tieflings that are holding a crossbow. And it seems like one of them is about to shoot the crossbow at the goblin while the other tiefling is trying to stop her. Aye, these wingnuts are about to pull an Al Capone on a damn green smurf. I got a side with the crossbow gal. That ugly goblin shit must have done something to deserve it. Shut up, gremlin. Them words could be your last. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, <clears throat> man. Blessed by the absolute? What kind of fairy tale horse shit is that? All right, all right. Let's get rid of that ugly green bastard. I'll just hang back and watch this drama unfold. No skin off my bald head. Here I'd rather comes, watch paint dry on the Seaside Heights boardwalk beast. than listen to this bullshit. And with that out of the way, we continued our search for that healer. During that search, we come across the argument between the Druids and the Tieflings. Oh, let me through, Mradrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> the hell is this? A shitty remake of Brother Bear? These Fruit Loops ain't even <laughs> letting people save their kids? Bullshit, but I ain't one to get in the middle of a family quarrel. I'll peel off here and look for another path. And with no other choice but to listen to Tommy, we go in one of the only directions that would most likely progress the story, towards Zevlor. Ah, you, thank you. You stopped us from making a bad situation much worse. Listen here, pal, I ain't the welcoming committee. Stop. Tommy Cutlets ain't got no time for small talk, understand? I'm just passing through this dump. The druids can't sit still without his gamer out. fuel. This yeah, so long, cowboy. Fuck off, I got work to do. All right, all right, listen. <laughs> I don't it. give two shits about your squabbles and your fairy tree hugger druids or horn-headed tieflings. I just gotta find a damn healer. 
After that, you won't see my bald head no more. And goblins? You're wounded. Looks like the your Druid village could use some decent security. Here. security. Reminds me of poor Stride. Fucking expedition. rookie can't keep if his bonds secure for too serious, shit in his first you could try his apprentice Probably Nettie. why he... Listen here, Zevi boy, I don't care about your bedtime stories. The only thing I heard was Nettie and Healer. If I gotta crash through <laughs> a dance-off or interfere with some hippie ritual to find her, then so be it. We know you a great debt. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. I don't know, I didn't seem to like that. That's funny, though. Make them see sense. And with that mission from Zevlor and Tommy agreeing to it, we make our way back to the scene of the shitty Brother Bear remake and look for Kaga and Nettie. Please. I'm sorry. Uh, Tommy, as you go and approach this so-called Kaga, there's a child nearly being attacked by a snake that's extremely poisonous, apparently. And this druid leader is saying, I will imprison this child and I will throw out everyone else because apparently the child is a thief. Wait a fucking minute here. You got a kid being snake bait and it's like a casual Tuesday for you nut jobs. This ain't no juvenile detention. Look, I ain't no golden boy scout, but this is bullshit. The kid's a thief. Well, ain't that funny. Strider stole my fucking beer last weekend <laughs> and I didn't sick no snake on him, that prick. She's just a child. She's a parasite. Wrath, lock her up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this broad treats kids worse than Coach Jasper treated the bench warmers. Definitely gonna go with option three. Time to rev up my Jersey intimidation. <clears throat> I... Very well. <laughs> my words. <clears throat> Tila, say it. You think I'm a monster? All right, listen here. Lady Gaga or whatever. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. All right, enough of this jabberwocky. Seriously, I don't know if Kaga here is really a druid leader or just the star of some off-Broadway production about nature. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road, I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. This Kaga broad <laughs> is all bark and no bite. Similar to that pansy strider. I'm gonna humor her some more. See where this shit show leads. So I gotta play babysitter now, huh? I'll go speak to Zevlu for Zevlar, whatever you his name was. Yeah, leading Outlanders could this be interesting. This tale ends but more one way. interesting than this bird lover With the club, Outlander sure. rot cleansed. Bet the refugees got the more character than these forever shrouded. All right, Kaga, you made your point. Let With the Kaga situation taken care of, we move on to Nettie. We talk to her for a bit, and we move to the back into the sealed room where she finds out we have a Mind Flayer tadpole in our head. When she tries to make us promise to take this poison before we turn into a Mind Flayer, this is what happened. Wait a sec. She's trying to poison me, and she thinks I'll just gobble it up like it's one of those cannolis from Vinny's back home. I what a scam. No, I'm not taking poison from a woman I can't trust. I'll tell her. This ain't a garden party, sweetheart. She's turning to be a real chump, just like Strider when he kept hugging the corners in his <laughs> FPS games. But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. So let me get this straight. She's blackmailing me now. This plot keeps twisting like a pretzel. I've been in tighter spots and I ain't backing down now. I don't care. I'm not gonna die here, I'll tell her. She doesn't know who she's dealing with. Then I've no choice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Tommy! Turns out that she wants to kill you because you didn't take that poison from her. Now! What do you want to do? I think I'll use my rage bonus action first. This chick pissed me off. Then I want to land a solid main hand attack. Let's give her a taste of Jersey Shore justice. Path lies before me. Just as she's about to die, she turns herself into a boar. You have to get through this form to be able to finish her off. For my action, let's go with a reckless attack. She won't see it coming. For my bonus action, let's go with shove. All right, Tommy. You shoved her away, but she turned back into a boar again this turn. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why won't this lady just call it quits? Fine, let's clean this mess up real quick. I'll use my main hand attack action again. Time to squash this swine. 
I'll strike you down. I think it, I think it'll kill her. Yeah, it'll kill her. Okay. After learning about Halzen's healing abilities and taking out Nettie, we moved on to Zevlor to let him know that he needs to leave the grove for his own safety. He reacts by talking about the goblin army and that it could easily be taken care of if its leaders are taken out. When he asks Tommy if he would do it, he responds with this. All right, let's get this shindig started. Kill the goblin horde's leaders. I'll see what I can do. I'll tell him, no promises, but I'll sort this mess one way or another. After finally getting the quest needed to progress the story and move on to kill the goblin leaders, Tommy moves out of the grove and over a bridge towards the goblin encampment. It was here that he encounters the goblins waiting in ambush for people that enter the village. Naturally, he didn't respond well to their threats and he immediately entered combat. Okay, Tommy, you are now in combat. There's four enemies in total, two on the right, and two on the left and they are pretty far away and it doesn't look like you can make it to them this turn you need to close the distance if you want to get close enough all right all right i ain't danced the cha-cha just yet for my action i'll choose dash gotta close in on these twerps and let's kick in that rage for my bonus action it's gonna be a doozy but tommy cutlets ain't no pushover did you want to go for the people on the left or the people on the right let's deal with the lefties first they got a date with old tommy cutlets He's smart. I'll take it, dude. He's really smart. All right, cool. A nice hit. All right, Tommy, it's your turn, and you are close enough to attack both of these enemies. One of them is an archer, and the other one is a mage. All right, Tommy boy, here's the plan of attack. For my action, I'll go with main hand attack. Aim for that little punk playing wizard. Magic or no, everyone bleeds red. For a bonus, let's follow with a shove. Keep that archer at bay. Sit tight, Strider, and watch how real heroes fight. You are currently missing your attack. If you use reckless attack, you will be able to attack again and possibly hit. Would you like to use it? Yeah, let's rattle the cage a bit. Light him up with the reckless attack. Strider could learn a thing or two about not tucking tail and running. Enough chatter gotta deal with these munchkins. Fuck off, I got work to do. <laughs> Okay, Tommy, it's just a mage that's left. What would you like to do to the mage that's right in front of you this turn? Just the magic man left, huh? Let's wrap this up with some fireworks. Time for a main hand attack fueled by that sweet rage. With that battle out of the way, Tommy proceeded to loot all of the goblins that we defeated. Afterwards, I let him know that he was all out of rage charges, and he decided he wanted to take a long rest to get them back. Once at camp, I had Tommy go to sleep. This caused one of Astarian's cutscenes to happen. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. Hey, waking up to a vampire roommate. This ain't Transylvania. All right, Fang boy, let's get one thing straight. How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? I'll come off on him. This blood ain't blue plate special, capiche? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. I eat. This ain't Vampires Anonymous. All right, time for a real talk. Why didn't you tell me you were a vampire? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I ain't no midnight snack, but let's put this blood sharer on a leash. All right, but go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. I'll warn him. Whoa there, bloodhound, enough's enough. A deal's a deal. All right. Hmm? Oh. With Astarian now powered by the pure brute force of a Jersey man, he learned the move Bite. <laughs> Determined to keep Tommy on his toes, I changed this code to include the fact that he recently got his blood drained and he really wasn't feeling good. The side effects? <laughs> well, you'll see later. After changing this code, I stepped away for a moment. You're gonna have to give me a moment. I will, I'm gonna be right back. Psst. Hey, while he's gone, make sure you like and subscribe.
Every time you do, I get a juicy slice of Jersey pizza. It makes being stuck in this world all the more bearable. Thank you. Hey, Tommy, wait, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just thanking everyone for being here. With Tommy's code changed, I thought to myself, wouldn't it make more sense if Tommy's image matched what he looked like in-game? I mean, he is supposed to be bald, and that gave me an idea. So while Tommy was sleeping, I took an electric hair clipper and got to work. After leaving camp, Tommy runs into his first bit of trouble when he runs into the goblins at the windmill. <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you, hope you got a stomach for rights. Look at this motley crew, straight out of a carnival freak show. You think this is funny, torturing some poor mook like that? I'm gonna go with option one. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. It's about time to put these has-beens in the dirt, Jersey style. So I'm choosing option four, right here, right now. We're gonna attack these fucking goblins. I already got my main hand attack ready to dish out some hurt, and I'm gonna toss in a rage bonus action for good measure. They're about to learn why you don't mess with a guy from Jersey. Ooh, whoa, quick, get him! I'm so faced on your side. Oh! What the fuck was that? All right. Dude, they're fucking us up. Oh, first round. Oh my gosh. Damn, damn! Take two. All right, Tommy, it is your turn once again. Just an FYI, two of your teammates are down. Shadowheart, your cleric, and Asterion, your rogue. All right, listen here. Who needs a bunch of potions anyway? In Jersey, we tough out our problems. I bet those two just fell over because they couldn't handle the sight of real man moving into Rumble. I say let him eat dirt. Okay. This is my fight. With that said, I gotta stick around to make these goblins regret their life choice. Dipping into my secret stash, I'll throw the health potion back for my bonus act. And then, I'm going back into the fray with my main action. A reckless attack. These goblins in that mangy mud ain't no what hit them. Dude, they're just like fucking us up. Tommy's down. After Tommy dying and marking another dead Tommy on the gravestone, I let him know he died and came back. I then asked him how he wanted to proceed. Whoa, talk about a trip. That's a literal do over right there. All right, Tommy boy, don't freak out. Well, shit, let's turn tail and try another path. We then pushed onwards towards the goblin camp where we get greeted at the main gate. And Tommy needed to talk his way in. Through. Look at it, Claw. Sappers here. I just think they're you've got another reason to be here. Power courses through you. Authority. Ah, oh, fuck me. They had to catch me, didn't they? Fine. I'm dusting this off again. We're gonna try option two and use the weird symbol thing. I'm getting good at this magic mumbo jumbo. I look them square in the eye. And with all the swagger of a Jersey Shore legend, no. I'll tell him to stand aside. I, uh, um, down claw, bad girl. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. I'll go with option two. I'm looking for a druid named Haslin. Where is he? After this, I got I a pizza joint back home that's calling my name. This. Last time they disrespect Tommy Cutlets, I tell you. I'm gonna go with option one. Let's drop a breadcrumb. I heard he was captured breaking into this very camp. If they shrug it off, I swear. Wait, stop. This is more frustrating than rush hour on the <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't stop yelling. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead, he's in the pits with the rest of them. All right, Smelly. So he tells you that he might be in the pits with all the other thieves. By the way, 
How were you feeling after getting bit by the vampire? All right, I'm ready to explode. For the love of sausage and peppers, how many times I gotta tell you? It's Tommy. Tommy Cutlets, if you're feeling formal. And that vampire bite. It's worse than the time I ate that gas station sushi. Now that was a wild night. Now let's quit the chit chat. It's time to go inside and find this Haslin character. I'm finished being Mr. Nice Guy. Tommy and his team level up from this encounter. And he got to choose a subclass this level as well. By the way, I do explain what each subclass and their abilities do to Tommy. All right, Tommy, you just leveled up. Choose a subclass, a wild heart, berserker subclass, or you can get wild magic. All right, all right, don't blow a gasket. Let's see, wild heart, berserker, wild magic. Decisions, decisions. I think I'll, I'm gonna go with that berserker thing. Violence is sort of my thing. You know, back in the day, I was a one man wrecking ball on the football field. After leveling him and everyone up, we make our way through the gate and towards the bridge. Where this cutscene happens. Hear my voice. Obey my command. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. Boyo, 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 talk about mind game. I ain't felt this weird since that all-nighter after the big game at Jersey City. Damn, what a night that was. You should have seen me, top of the world, like a dog with two dicks. Now here I am, <laughs> in a godforsaken piece of hell, literally out of my mind. I don't give two shits about your shiny doodad, Shadowheart. So let's go with option four. Seems that trinket's important. Keep it close. With that out of the way, we quickly move on over the bridge, only stopping to ask Tommy if he wanted to talk to the bard. You're Wait, saying there's a bard here, huh? A singer, you say? Bet he can't hold a candle to the boardwalk crew who's back at the shore. I'll take my chances with the devil I don't know. Let's dig deeper into this godforsaken camp and find Hazlitt. No more detours, no more distractions. With Tommy saying he wanted nothing to do with him, we quickly move on inside into the main goblin camp to find Halson. Once inside, we run into an issue. Not only does the audio cut out for this goblin, but it doesn't give us a choice in the dialogue. So, we have no choice but to fight our way through once we fail the role it puts us against. You're telling me these goblin punks are blocking the way? Seriously, when all else fails, you throw a punch. It's what we do in Jersey. Enough of this walking on eggshells crap. Let's go with a reckless attack and make these jabronis regret the day they were born. For my bonus action, I'm going all out with rage. Now stand back, folks. You're going to witness the fury of Tommy Cutlets in full swing. And he wants to use rage. All right, it's your turn. What would you like to do? I'm about to show you how Jersey does business. I'm going to use my main hand attack and send these cod piece wearing clowns flying. I'm dusting off the old reckless attack as my action. And for my bonus action, let's go for that frenzied strike. You're about to witness some great ace Jersey style smackdown. Oh, it's your turn once again. You have one, two, three, four, five goblins in front of you. These bastards are all over the place. But Tommy Cutlets ain't one to back down from a fight. So, for my action, I'm gonna use Cleave. Time to give these goblins a taste of Jersey Steel. I'll give them a show they won't forget, Jersey style. Nice hit. I'm all for that frenzied strike bonus action. Let's show these goblins why you don't mess with the Jerseyite. And don't call me Tammy, got it? It's Tommy, Tommy Cutlets. If you can't remember that, there's going to be trouble. I mean it. I... I'm just going to use it. I missed. All right. For my main action, I'm going to throw another reckless attack their way. 
And for my bonus action, let's roll out the enraged throw. No way, he did it. All right, it's your turn. You have one more goblin right in front of you. I spit out a mouthful of dust and grin. All right, speckle face, you're the last one. Don't feel bad though. Everyone else was just as pathetic. <laughs> I line up my main hand attack for another powerful swing. While I'm at it, I'm gonna top it off with a sprinkle of frenzied strike for my bonus action. This one's gonna be a doozy. Welcome to the big leagues, goblin. Ain't no party like a Jersey Shore party. Stop! Not satisfied with that victory screech or whatever the hell that was. I wanted him to do another one. You call that a victory screech? Give me a real one, Tommy. Let's go. Give me your best Jersey screech ever. Warning, this was a bad idea. If you want to skip this part, please wait until I put my headphones back on or until the time displayed on the screen. Well, fuck my boots and call me a hero. You want a victory screech? I'll give you the mother of all screeches. Here it goes. That was worth it. How's that for audio mojo, folks? Tommy Cutlet signing off. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. After that little screaming fit, we moved on into the next room and prepared to clear the goblin fort, which, if you didn't know, was essentially three goblin leaders, which meant three fights were ahead of us. With that said, let the fights begin. I'll use Dash for my action to close the gap and get up close and personal. I'm all out of bubble gum, so it's time to kick ass. For my bonus action, let's go with a swig from the old potion bottle. Yeah, close. To press it. <sighs> Looks like I'm the center of attention for these goblins. Let's not disappoint the audience. I'm gonna use reckless attack. He's enraged. It's about damn time for some good old frenzy mode. This ruckus needs an encore. Switch it on. Let the fireworks begin. Welcome to the Cutlet Showcase, <laughs> goblins. Why is he so fast? For my main action, let's do that good old Dive, main hand cow. attack. Smash a few skulls. You're gonna love this. New Jersey style. And as for my bonus action, since I'm in full on frenzy mode, let's go with frenzy strike. Ooh. Have to keep going. <laughs> Frenzied strike. What the fuck? That's a thing you can do? That's not even fair. All right, my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not so tough now, are you? I'm gonna put these goblins on ice with a main hand attack. And because I'm still in full glory for my bonus action, let's dish out another frenzied strike. Can I get a hell yeah? Oh. For my action, I'm gonna put the hurt on with another main hand attack on the goblin that's up in my grill. And then with my bonus action, I say we roll out another frenzied strike. One day I'll catch him. For my action, it'll be my patented main hand attack. For my bonus action, you guessed it. Another round of frenzied strike. I'll use my bonus action to shove the air, just to keep the blood pumping. I always finish strong. Ooh, All right. <laughs> All right, good job, Tommy. <laughs> With that first battle out of the way, we took a short rest, and Tommy wanted to give a speech. Not only did he do his usual war cry, but 
He declared himself the mayor of Goblin Town? No stray goblin or any other fairy tale reject stands a chance. This is our turf now, and I'm the goddamn governor. Because of the screaming getting out of hand, we decided to update Tommy. He was no longer sick from the vampire bite, and we decided to add a few more traits as well. We added that he had a crush on Shadowheart, and we also made it so he did a cheer at the end of big battles to declare victory. As for what that cheer was, well, you'll see soon enough. After updating Tommy, we moved on to the priest's body, where he picked up a Mind Flayer tadpole against his will. Needless to say, he wasn't happy. Ah! For fuck's sake, that's more bullshit than a Jets playoff game! I angrily spat, smacking a goblin carcass with the back of my hand. With that being said, we killed that first goblin and moved on to the second battle. Big battle up ahead. Whoa! Looks like we got a little party going on here! I chose to dash for my main action, hoping to close the, the gap between me and the enemies. And as for my bonus action, that was always a constant, wasn't it? I went into frenzy. I'm Tommy Cutlets and I'm coming for you, you chicken shit. Also a word. All right, well, let's find out what Tommy wants to do. How about that? For my main action, I chose a reckless attack, frenzy strike for my bonus action. Stop throwing stuff, bro. Damn. No time for mercy. He's known for his fast. <laughs> He's governor, bro. Get ready to catch goofball. My heart hurling the face at him. Jersey never misses. Not on first my first. the hardest. It's gonna be a wild ride. Congratulations, buddy. You just won a one-way trip to Pain Station. Next stop, Hurt City. It might have been cruel, but I was out of mercies today. Jersey showed up with a vengeance, and it was gonna be fun. With the two right in front of me, I went for Cleave as my main action to try and smart mow motherfucker. Down for my bonus action, I stuck with Frenzy, not letting go of that juicy rage. Giants on me, giants on three, one, two, three, giants! I roared, a battle cry ringing across the field. Game on. It's so stupid. <laughs> For my action, I decided to dash. As my bonus action, I chose to enraged throw to give my pal there something to remember me by. That's actually funny. After the second boss fight, we quickly looted every goblin body and then gathered outside the main door. This is where Will decided that he wanted to die and jumped into a spider pit. Luckily, he passed the skill check and made some new spider friends. With the team together again, we made our way to the treasure vault and got some new goodies for Tommy. He put on some new gloves and some new boots. Another week later, we started back up where we left off in the Goblin Fort, right before the final battle against Minthara. Taking a look at our health, I asked Tommy if he wanted to take a long or short rest. That way we were ready for the final battle. All right, got it. For now, ain't no one needs a fucking nap. We're rolling with full health, baby. All cylinders firing. Ain't no goblin gonna test Tommy Cutlets. I'm a fucking steam train with no brakes, baby. Okay. Tell Shadow Heart I said, how you doing? Sure, I could use a long rest after I save this Haslin fella and show everyone how it's done. Until then, let's kick some goblin ass. <sighs> Glancing around, I decide there's no way we're going back into that bloodbath in this shape. All right, fellas, we need a good old fashioned long rest. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. I came just in time. You are transforming. Hey, I just closed my eyes. Who's this interrupting a man's beauty sleep? You sound familiar though, like my old coach, but crankier if that's possible. I know your voice. I've heard it before, ain't that right? You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I knew I liked your voice for a reason, just like Scarlett Johansson. Taking a moment, I decide this stranger's okay for now. I reach out and take his hand. Go. All right, pal. Lend me a hand. Flashbacks of high school football injuries and bone-crushing tackles, eh? As I get up, I add, maybe next time try to Dude, show he's so small. Show would save us a lot. Now that we were rested and finally met our dream visitor, we were in much better shape for that final battle against Minthara. Go ahead. <clears throat> Go ahead and climb this. Steer in with the high ground. This is going to work great. Oh, 
Tommy can't do anything this turn. She's not going to be able to be hurt, and she can heal. Can you stop throwing stuff? What? Are you serious? I literally have to keep him healed just to keep him alive. He's not held anymore. Yeah, let's go for this guy. Good hit. Time to do what Tommy Cutlets does best. Kick ass and take names. With a howl, I activate the frenzy. All right, you mooks. This is what a Jersey comeback looks like. You're about to figure out why they don't invite Jersey boys to mixers. We ruin all the furniture. I'll hit them with a little surprise frenzy strike as my... What? Hey, down and up again. Just like when Frankie two times tried to tackle me in high school, I opt to use a health potion for my bonus action. Going off and taking a sip, I add... Can you just stop? Hey, these goblins hit more often than my ex. Time and time again, you win <laughs> some, you... I opt for the last health potion. Downing it, I add. All right. Can't move you. Goblin boss, please stand up. Don't, don't kill. Okay, Tommy. You didn't go down this turn. What would you like to do this turn? About time one of these turns went my way. All right, you overgrown smurfs. Launch a potent main hand attack on one of the full health enemies. And miss. Okay, cool. I opt to use my bonus action for a frenzied strike on the goblin I had already attacked with my main hand attack. <laughs> Nice hit. And she's gonna attack. Jersey in the house. Giants on three. Oh, no! No! What? Take you. Take you. Say when the going gets Hey yo, goblin leader. You ready to meet your maker? It's a good day to die, especially for you. Time to show these goblins why no one messes with Jersey. Hey, you two, this ain't nap time. Hey, goblin down. That's what I like to see. I glance at Shadowheart, and despite our dire situation, I can't help but give her a wink. Don't We're come still on. still upright, babe, so you and I'll keep the Jersey spirit alive. He doesn't care about anyone but Shadowheart. <laughs> Let's see if you can catch, Goblin Prick. I use my main <laughs> action to throw my weapon at the low health goblin. You wanted to throw your weapon. Okay. He want, he's gonna throw his weapon. His only weapon that he has, he's throwing it. Okay, good. Yeah, just throw your great axe. No problem. All right, then. Good job, Tommy. In one smooth motion, I go shove the goblin with my main action. Feels like pushing a drunk off the beach dock after too many brewskis. All right, goblin, time for the plunge. Don't forget to tuck and roll, or don't. I couldn't give two fucks. Giants on three. Can I get a hell yeah? All right, well, see you later. Nice. After barely. Sorry. After easily winning the last battle, Tommy successfully cleared the goblin camp. And all that was left was to rescue Halson. But that is a story for a different day. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tommy, is there anything that you want to say? Uh, yeah, sure. See you again soon in the next video. Oh, and thank you for all those juicy pizza slices. Wait, how did you get pizza?